Antithetical. Antithetical. Directly opposite or opposed. Second Ezra, chapter six, verse seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors be unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Archakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have told me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom I so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Ratazah. This lesson is edifying. Esau is completely antithetical to Jacob. For Esau is the wicked. According to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4, whose soul according to the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4, is not upright in him. Behold, his soul which is lifted up by reason of his blessing, which is the sword, and his pride is not upright in him. But the just, and who is the just? The elect of the nation of Israel, which represents Jacob, which will follow whose kingdom, I should say, will follow after the end of Esau's world, Esau's age, Esau's rulership, shall live by faith. And this scripture here, amongst many others, shows that Esau and Jacob are in fact directly opposite are opposed of each other because Esau is the wicked and Jacob is the righteous and Esau will be enslaved by Jacob by the nation of Israel with our Lord Yahweh Shai being at the apex of that followed by King David under him and the rest of the men that comprise the governing body of the nation of Israel. And so Esau is antithetical to Jacob. So now let's go back to 2nd Ezra 6 and read that once more and then flow with the Spirit from their Lord's willing. So again, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And this can be read in the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter. For Esau is the end of the world. And so Esau is the end of the world. We are at the end of the world. And Esau, Edom's eon, uninterrupted rulership, will be abruptly destroyed will be abruptly disrupted and come to an end by the hands of our Lord Yahweh Shai after the will of the Father Yahweh because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are going to lay flat are going to level this man's kingdom by way of thermonuclear fire and Jacob beginning with the elect is the beginning of it that followeth. And what is that that followeth? The kingdom of heaven. 
which will be established upon the earth. Because here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. For here we have no continuing city, so the elect of the nation of Israel, we, Lord's willing, I'm of the elect, have no continuing city here, but we seek one to come. Why? Because this current setup is the setup of the wicked, which the Lord has commanded us to arise and depart from, for this is not our rest. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So this is not our rest, therefore we should spiritually arise and depart. Because it is polluted. Polluted with what? Idolatry, witchcrafts, sodomy, pedophilia, things that are contrary to the scriptures. The words of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. It shall destroy you. False philosophies such as Hinduism, Kemet, Buddhism, you know, Christianity, what our people love to and are for the most part indulged in, Islam. All these things are going to destroy two-thirds of our own people, even with a sore destruction by way of those thermonuclear fires. That's why it says in 2nd Ezra chapter 9 that they're going to know death by pain. And so here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Back in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And the one that we are seeking to come is the kingdom. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16, but now they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore, which means for this reason, Yahweh Bashem Shai is not ashamed to be called their power. <laughs> for he had prepared for them a city. And so the city that we seek to come is a heavenly city. That's already prepared for us by Yahweh Bashem Shai. And that's going to be the kingdom of heaven which will be established upon the earth. <laughs> so we are looking forward to things that are greater than this current world, that are greater than this hell. Because this is hell, man, that we live in. <laughs> okay, so... Let's get a couple more scriptures because I said to the spirit, we've just flown in the spirit. Romans chapter 9, verse 12. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. And who's the elder referring to? He saw Edom. And he's going to serve the younger, who is Jacob. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. So the Lord hates Esau. Why? Because Esau is the wicked. He is antithetical to Jacob. He's the direct opposite. He's completely opposite of Jacob, which represents the righteous. Who is the righteous? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? The Most High forbid. Because the Most High is perfect. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, runneth but of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai that shew of mercy. So at the end of the day, it all boils down to the will of the Lord and predestination. And Esau, your lot is that of the wicked. Your lot is being that of the one whom the Lord will destroy and enslave and then exterminate. Your lot is the one of who is antithetical to the Most High himself and his son and his people. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. Lord's willing, until the next, I say shalom to the elect.